Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And once again, coming back into the Chamber of Truth to complete the three new stages. This time we're going into stage six, wanting a dark magic team. So this is just a harder version of the first anniversary Tempered Edge. We're going to be fighting Dagrel this time, who's got a million HP, 11k attack, 13, almost 14k defense. He nerfs oranges, he gives himself crit and pierce resistance. This is the exact same battle as Veldora, or not Veldora, but Gazel, but obviously much harder because Gazel only had like, what, 400,000 HP, maybe? He has a, Dagro has a million. So we're going to go in using this team. We've got Protector Veldora. We've got Autogram Lumi for stacking alt damage. We've got the turn one orb change that we need, as shown here. With Milim, we've got Isis as our blue converter, and then we've got Shinsha, and we've got sorry-ass Anniversary Rimuru. Um, honestly, if I wanted this team to run a bit better, I would replace him with an orange orb changer of any sort. I would bring free-to-play, what, Aaron or even Subasa maybe. Sufia would work. I mean, you could bring, where is he, Grand Admiral Diablo, because he did release in this meta, but he was physical. He does have the orange convert, though, so, I mean, he is probably the most replaceable unit. Uh, but we're going to run it like this and see how well it goes, and if Orb RNG does really screw me over, then I'll just swap him out. Alright, for this run, I'm not using the skill point units, so we only have 30, which means we can only use the orb change with Milim, and then next turn we'll have to use the Isis buff. Uh, I don't really see a problem with that, though. We're going to get, you know, a lot of protection gauge. We only have 70, what, 81 points, plus whatever Milim's going to give us, so like 85, or, yeah, 85 points or something like that on turn two, which should be plenty to do most everything that we need, unless we get, like, three oranges, and then I'm going to just hate life. Um, no, okay, I like life, cool. I am okay with that, so... We can then, 80, yeah, 85 directly. So let's use a stack of Lumi. Let's use the green buff and the orb change. And then we'll go ahead and reset everybody with Veldora. And then we're going to bring Shinsha in because Shinsha does have that debuff, which gives us extra skill points on orbs and lowers his crit resistance, which is going to be important when we actually crit. Now, if we didn't bring Rimuru and we wouldn't have a reliable way to crit, it would be maybe a little bit less impactful. But still, getting permanent extra skill points is going to be great on a stacking green focus team because Veldora doesn't give us like that 500% extra skill point gain like uh, stacking blue protectors do. So, okay, we're we're living the high life right now. Oh boy, I am I am certainly okay with how this is turning out. So, orb change. We'll do another stack of Lumi, and then I think we'll reset everyone here, and then we'll use another stack of Shinja's buff. So we'll just be permanently debuffing him and giving us extra points. And I think we're just going to run it like this. This will be the last turn of Lumi's protection gauge increase, so after this she can go away. Uh, she is skill fused, so she got four stacks we need to do, and we're halfway there. But it's not like we're poor on points right now. So depending on how this next turn works out, we could even get like a bad hand and we could still run it. Or the game loves me. Sweet. I, I cannot argue with this. I cannot argue with this. So another stack. Uh, Lumi can now go away. That's her third of four. We do need to bring someone in. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and bring Isis in for Milum. Yeah, because we're going to have the two blues right here. So, boom, we'll put the green buff back on. Because I, it was, uh, I think it wore out already, or it's about to wear out. It was about to wear out. And then we'll use Veldora. We'll send the Shinsha ult, because I have a feeling we'll be able to get it back by the time turn 8 rolls around, which is, I assume, what the nuke turn needs to be. So I don't have a problem with that. I just wanted to hold on to Millums in case things happened. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now next turn, we'll be able to finish up the Lumi buff. 63k already right there. We're doing good damage because we're consistently buffed 
by Veldora. We should be we should have been capped out a while ago on his um, 70%. All right, our first bad hand. That's totally fine. Um, I, I don't really have a problem with that. He's going to alt us, but you know what? We're actually going to make use of Rimuru here. And we're just going to yoink that real fast. So, boom. We can only use it once. Uh, this should be the last stack that we need to do of Lumi. And I think we're just going to run it like this. So, one, two, three, four. We'll get rid of these pesky oranges that we don't need. And then we'll just yoink his alt so we don't take any huge damage here. Boop. Boom. And then we just take a few follow-ups. So we're on to turn seven. We've got a good hand. Lumi doesn't need to be here anymore. Um, well, I mean, we say that, but she's going to be here regardless. Uh, you know what? You know what? We only need, so what do we, we need 55, 55, and 80. So we need 190 points to nuke, and we're at 173. We got two more turns to go, and he has 740k HP. I honestly think we can probably big chill here. We do need to get a Shinsha ult, though. I do want to get back up to a Shinsha ult. So I'm going to send these, I'm going to send everything that we can here, and try and get back to uh, a Shinsha ult in the next couple turns. I may have to use the buff skill with Lumi coming out next turn. Maybe. It depends on how many orbs we get for Shinsha this coming turn. If we don't get any, then I think we might be out of luck, but I still think we're going to do enough damage, because we're going to have a lot of buffs with Milum. Because we got the permanent alt buff from Lumi, we're going to have her temporary buff. We will get her alt here. Okay. Perfect. So, let's do... Let's see. Let's bring in Milum for... Uh, okay. All right, we, we got to think about this. Uh, right. We would take this Lumi Orb, not this Lumi Orb. And we would take this green, green Rimuru. Can we, can we get it with just that? Uh, need 190. All right, so increase also skill point, or er, alt gauging. All right, let's do this. Let's see if we can get the, uh... Okay, perfect. So we have just enough points. We have one Reem or one Veldora right here. This is enough to get her alt. She'll have an alt. We have a Reemer orb. We have a Lumi orb. So we're looking good now. All right, we made it work. We made it work. So, this should be at 80%. It is excellent. We'll bring Milum in for Lumi and apply the guaranteed crit and crit damage. And then we'll get Rimuru out. And then we'll put the dark buff on and the alt buff. And then once we reset with Veldora, we'll have the extra 70% magic buff. And then we can use one more stack of Shinsha to lower his crit resistance even more. So now he's down by 25%, and I think we did like, I think it's stacking by five the entire time. So we used five stacks of that, that's pretty good. We got the dark resistance down from Shinsha. We've got the alt, which is 80 plus 70, so 150% alt damage. Milim herself is giving everybody on this front line 25% dark attack because she is skill, or just attack because she is skill fused. So it gives all dark allies the attack, uh, right here, all dark allies attack by 25. So everyone will hit much, much harder. I think Milam will clear him. I think Milam's going to do 600k by, by herself. But... Let's send Shinsha first. Because I don't really see her all very often. I just want to see how much this does. Oh, 528. Okay, we already saw it once apparently. Oh yeah, we did, because we sent it off earlier. 528k though. So yeah, if Shinsha almost cleared him, then Milam is going to do like 700 something. If not more. Because she's level 120. And Shinsha is not even maxed out. 731. Okay, yeah. There there you go. Okay. The Dark Team. It's still, you know, a respectable damaging team, just with the amount of buffs you have. No EX alts, but we can't use EX characters here anyway. And I think, you know, when the first anniversary came around, this was a very, very, very good team. Unfortunately, Rimuru has been cast aside, but that's neither here nor there. 
Um, let's, uh, substitutions you could use. Uh, Milim is kind of necessary. She's the orb changer. She's the alt buffer. She's the DPS. Um, Shinsha. There is no other dark attack buffer that's not an EX character. Because otherwise you would bring, like, EX Hanada or something. Um, you could bring Raphael for the pierce and the alt resistance down. Um, can you stun this guy? Can you stun Dagrel? You can't stun Dagrel. Unless you brought Light Lumi. I mean... I don't really know the feasibility of doing that. Uh, you could still bring Raphael. And you could still benefit from his pierce and his all resistance down, regardless. Um, do, 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 do. Beldor's an orb changer. That could work. Milam's an alt buffer. That could work. Lumi's an orb changer. That can work. Space Reamer's got the attack buff. Any skill fused, he gets the alt resistance down as well. That could definitely work. Um, Dark, you know, Dark 2.0 Diablo technically could work as a single target nuker. He's got an 80% self buff for the alt. Um, if you need an orb change that's dark, you can use the second or the first first anniversary Diablo if you really wanted to. There, there are certainly options to be used here. It's just that this is obviously the best way to use this team. And we got very, very lucky by not really getting any oranges that entire run until that one hand where I didn't need to, to do anything anyways. But um, that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think. If there's another team you want me to try and use here that's not the Vengeance team, because we will still do that, then let me know. But that's it for me. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.